You might think that you're about to watch a documentary about urban wildlife, but that's not the case. This is an introduction to Rhythmic Convolutions 2, and in a moment, I'm going to show you how the sound of a squirrel eating walnuts could be used to creatively transform sounds. So first of all, what is Rhythmic Convolution, and how is it different from a convolution reverb? When you're using a convolution plugin, you're processing a sound in real time through an audio file called Impulse Response, which is a sampling of how reverb happens inside a certain acoustic space. But rhythmic convolution is different because the idea is to use a convolution plugin with rhythmic impulse responses. The resulting processing is a hybrid of rhythmic accents with additional resonances and harmonics. So what are these rhythmic impulse responses made of? I create my rhythmic impulse responses by recording a lot of different things, including musical contraptions, machines, devices, sounds made by animals, toys, objects, and different random events that have an interesting tonal or rhythmic quality. But that's just the beginning because what really makes a difference is how I later transform those recordings into rhythmic impulse responses. There's a lot of tweaking and testing involved. For each source I record, I make dozens of impulse responses to get a few finalized ones that I really like, because the key is to create a certain controlled randomness without losing the sonic texture of the original source. Now, let me give you an idea of how this works when applied on a synth sound. just the dry sound. And here's the processing from one of the squirrel impulse responses. Take a look at the size parameter. This parameter transposes the impulse response up or down which in return allows to change the speed of the rhythmic accents. This parameter is available also in other convolution plugins. For example, when I work in Pro Tools, I use Reflector. Here's another example with a different synth. Omnisphere has an extensive effects section that includes delays and creative reverbs, but for this particular demo, I'm going to use a sound that has no delay or reverb applied so you will hear exactly how rhythmic convolutions can change the sound. I recorded two short sequences based on the same chords. The first has a steady rhythm in eights, and the second is less busy. And now I will introduce the different impulse responses. The first is made with the sonic sculpture. The second with a nylon egg whisk. The third with my insanity machine. The fourth impulse response is based on a train horn sound. And the fifth was made with the wind up toy. And to close this demo, here's a different beat. As you can hear, this type of processing can add tempo-based accents that are more complex compared to traditional delays, because it's not just about adding rhythms, it's also about adding textures to the sound. 
200 input responses that you will find in rhythmic convolutions too, especially when you start combining them together, can open up a lot of possibilities in terms of rhythmic processing, and might even inspire you to play with your sounds and instruments in a different way, because the input responses will sound different based on the settings inside the plugin and based on the material that you're processing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and I hope you will enjoy creating with rhythmic convolutions. <laughs>